Hello dear researchers, in this video we want to learn about CNIP data download and we want to know about uh, different concepts related, related to CNIP file. Okay, this video is uh, prepared by AgriMisoft Research Company and if you want to use different tools and as well different videos like this video, go to www.agrisoft.com. Okay, you know, we want to know that what are the main tips in this presentation. The first or the main one is IPCC that is sent to Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. The second one would be CINIP 5, Coupled Model Intercomparison Project Phase 5. The third one is RCP, Representative Concentration Pathways as scenarios that CINIP 5 uh, would uh, works with these uh, scenarios. RR5, it means FIPS Assessment Report. And the last one would be Resolution, which we about, for example, course and find resolutions for different models. You know, before we start about uh, the mentioned concepts, it would be wonderful that imagine these pigs. All the universe in these models, in different GCM models, divided to different squares. And different companies around the world tries to uh, develop different models in different, for example, assessment reports and different series of CNIP. It depends on, for example, requirements of that company, the systems, and capability of them, they try to develop and progress different models. If you consider this figure, you can see different squares, for example, like this one. You know, we know that horizontal grid as latitude and longitude in, as coordinate, and vertical grid for height and pressure in physical pro, pro, I mean the process. When they want to uh, analyze and as well produce a model, they should consider different criteria such as physical process and as well dynamical process. And there are different sophisticated numerical models that they use them to develop a model. For why? Because they want to projection different weather and as well atmospheric variables such as precipitation, evapotranspiration, different temperatures, solar radiation, and the others. So, if you want to know about different models in uh, GCM, uh, general circulation models, you can say that some of them uh, are a, in AGCM, Atmospheric General or Global Circulation Model. The other one, AOGCM related to atmospheric and as well ocean GCM. Some of, some of them are just in ocean GCM and the others would be in regional climate model for a devoted, I mean for a specific region. Some of the models ensemble this aspect, for example, uh, maybe AGCM with OGCM or with all of them or just one uh, one of these uh, models to progress different GCM models. So, if we want to know better about IPCC uh, activities, it is better to make a flashback from the first uh, assessment report that uh, published in 1990. That we call it first assessment report. IPCC at that time developed such a small method, I mean that a very little models with course resolution with this one. If you track different uh, assessment reports, you can consider that according to these figures, we can consider that these squares year by year during the time will be finer and finer and finer. So when the systems, the computer systems and requirements would be progressed, then the systems and also companies uh, can get better and improver, I mean that models to project different scenarios and 
uh, feedbacks with consider different aspects. So, in 1919, the first assessment report was published by IPCC. In 1996, and six years after that, a second assessment report with this resolution, they tried to develop the first one. And as well, after that, in 2001, in third assessment report, they published different models that we call it TAR, T -A -R, with this resolution. And after that, for CINEP 4, assessment report 4, or fourth assessment report, in 2007, they tried to improve and progress better the models for achieving better models to projection future, I mean that weather variables. And after that, in CIMIP 5, they developed model in better way under another scenarios. You know, when in, I mean that the third assessment report, they used different scenarios. For example, they used a and B scenarios, but in CIMIP 5, they use RCB scenarios like this one. You can see here that in CIMIP 5, they, in 2013, they used RCB scenarios, but in CIMIP 3, they use A and B scenarios and compound them with each other, such as A, 1, B scenarios. In these scenarios, in A and B scenarios, they consider and suppose different assumptions such as population size, such as economical aspects, such as, for example, carbon dioxide emissions and the other criteria. But in CIMIP 5, they consider and they settled another aspects with name of um, emission scenarios for uh, RCP, uh, for, I mean, that radiation concentration. So they call it RCP. In CIMIP 6, Agrimasoft prepared another video that you can find it in YouTube website and learn more about CIMIP 6. But in this video, we focus on CIMIP 5 data download. So, as you can see here, there was no CIMIP 4 series. As you can see here, there is a gap between CIMIP 3 and CIMIP 5. Okay. All right. You know, if you want to know that, what is CIMIP 5? And how can we download CIMIP 5 data? We should better to know another points. You know, if you want to know about climate projection and what is the difference between CIMIP 3 to CIMIP 5, you know, more experiments quantify model sensitivity and as well feedbacks. Because when uh, the researcher, the scientific in this science, want to uh, progress a model, they should consider different aspects and different feedbacks, such as carbon dioxide, such as the other families of carbon dioxide, and also radiations and the other things, such as carbon cycle, uh, air system models, land surface as champs, atmospheric chemistry, ozone chemistry, and the other things. Also, they increase the resolution in a finer way and as well including NWP models, numerical weather prediction models, eddy permitting ocean models, and the other things. They use all of them and use them for improved CIMIP 5 better than CIMIP 3. And they as well use dedicated prediction experiment to test a variety of initialized techniques. Okay. If you want to imagine semi 5 long-term experiments, you can see in this graph that published by uh, different assessment reports of IPCC, they use carb uh, carbon dioxide amounts and as well, for example, uh, SSD as sea surface temperature, ice, so, and, and also aerosols, and the other things to progress these uh, models, I mean the semi 5 series, to a better a prediction one. Okay. As I told you, in CIMIP 5, we have different scenarios that we call it RCPs, that in stands to representative concentration pathways. It starts from RCP 
X, RCP 4.5, RCP 6, and RCP 8.5. All of them include and also called as RCP scenarios. If you want to know better why the numbers 8.5, 6, 4.5, and the other, the last one, what are they say? You know, for 8.5, it means high reference and rise radiative forcing pathway leading to 8.5 watts on a square meter up to 2100 year. You know, so it would be and it is not uh, optimized, I mean that optimistic view, it is a pessimistic view and it called to us that up to 2100 the uh, forcing, radiative forcing would be increased up to 8.5 watt on square meter and also for RCP6 as you can see here high stabilization level and with this uh, without overshoot pathway to this amount and also for RCP 4.5, it is a mid, a median, uh, I mean, this, um, a, a status, median or average conditions for all the feedbacks, all the, I mean, that climate change variables and the others. But, and RCP 6, not high and not, I mean, that low, but the average one would be RCP 4.5. The middle, the low one, the lowest one would be 2.x. That it the one of the one of the important of them, 2.6, low stabilization level, and it considered that peak in radiative forcing at this level. Okay, you know, we have after you download your model in semi five under your uh, define scenarios according to your project you should understand that all the download model are in course resolution I mean that in special resolution so you should convert them to a final one for better use for example please consider that your project uh, would be for example um, is about a little basin so if you want to use precipitation data for future for a little basin it is not exactly if you use course models so you should need to downscale that model and use better data so you need a statistical downscaling and as well dynamical downscale however if we want to know about this concept we know that about this uh, I mean that uh, items downscaling so you should use downscaling for uh, obtaining final resolution okay in third period for uh, i mean that we have third periods for projection method you know when you download your intent model in sim5 series you sh you have two different data in uh, when you download them historical period and rcp periods and also beside them, you have your aim data in your case study that we call it observation data, in situ data, I mean that. For example, synoptic station data or hydrometry station or maybe agriculture station. It depends on your project and your intent, your objective of your projects. So when we download our data, we should consider that Beside the historical period that in semi 5 it is started from 1915, but it depends on several models. For example, it maybe would be 1970 or less than 1970, but in a whole, they started from 1915 up to 2005. These are historical period. When you want to download, you should uh, download all this period for your uh, project. Also for RCPs, they start from 2005 up to 2100. If you want to use, for example, just three decades, according to your project, you need just to download, for example, 2000, for, uh, for example, 60 or maybe 50. It depends your, on your objectives. And also be careful that you should consider that 
you should download your objectives, um, I mean that uh, observation in situ data, and uh, collect them. So, you need to make an evaluation phase for your prediction process. Use historical data beside observation data in evaluation phase. You know, in evaluation phase, you should consider that according to your in-situ data. For example, in my sample, the station data start from 1985 up to 2019. Historical data in semi 5 start from this period. And also for future, RCP start from 2605 up to 2100. Uh, 2, so, for evaluation period, I, sh I should uh, extract the data uh, in a common period. I mean that between observation and as well historical. In observation period, I extract these stories because in historical period, my ultimate time uh, are in 2005. So the common period should be the same, like those periods that I write here. So you should make an evaluation process between ob observation period and historical period and check difference efficiency criteria such as for example Nystad cliff rmse r score d and the other indices for a better understanding if you want to use these indices you can use online calculator in agrimasoft uh, the website and also another famous tool in our company with name of data tool that you can use them for making your evaluation process to use different efficiency criteria tests such as Nash Sutcliffe, B and the other things that I told you before. So at the last tip, the semi five strategy includes two types of climate change modeling experiments. One of them long term and the other near term. The long-term simulations are usually started from multi-century pre-industrial control simulations. And also for near-term simulations, the difficult prediction experiment are initialized with observed recent ocean and as well sea ice conditions. The near-term also called difficult prediction. When you want to download this semi 5 data model, you, in, you can see different terms, long and also near, for digital and also for uh, long term up to 2100. For better understanding about different variables in semi 5 I invite you to go to this address link and download uh, a very important and essential PDF file that helps you to understand better about the variables. Now, it is the t uh, time to go to uh, this point and find our answer that how can we download semi 5 data you know uh, before I start this I introduce you to different website this one that it is for US PCMDI in semi 6 video I uh, learned to you that how can we find uh, I mean that four important and essential fundamental gates to uh, use I mean that to um, to define a user account on it and after that via the, that account you can go to the website and download your uh, intent CMIP series but this PCMDI for US it is so essential to know about variable definition a standard output PDF and the other one CMIP data reference syntax I downloaded both of them before this and I want to show several of things. For example, in the standard output, when you download it, you can find different, uh, I mean that, uh, parameters. For example, for precipitation, if you want to know about the units of precipitation, about the abbreviation of precipitation variables, you can uh, type it here and find in this file. For example, in the first file, I find precipitation, the abbreviation is PR, with this unit, you know, it is flux precipitation, precipitation flux, not in millimeter, not in, for example, inch, just in this unit. And also for temperature or maybe everything. 
you can see, for example, near surface radiative humidity, relative humidity, and the other risk can help you to understand the aberration and the other risk. It is very essential for you to know about them. So download this PDF file and use it. Another one about reference syntax. I showed to you that, for example, what is the institute, model, product, activity, and the other rest uh, represent to us what they mean. So you can see the exact uh, definition of them and find it in this file. However, let's go to download one sample and find it to download in a better way. In this website, ECG, ESGF, and uh, uh, as a gate, you can, as you can see in corner, right corner, create an account. And if you made it before by login, you can go there and make an uh, use your uh, sign in and use your account. If not, you such as me, you are uh, welcome as a guest. Okay. First of all, with project, at the left side, we have different panels. For a better uh, define, I mean that when you want to download a model, it is better to set up some of the uh, some of these variation variables uh, to easiest download. So, the first one about the project, we know about we want to use CMIP five, so click it. The second one with name of product. In this PDF file, I see you. You can see that and situation, models, and different options in this panel, activities. So I omit to uh, de uh, describe and de uh, de uh, describe to you different um, of them. You can find them very easy in this PDF file. So, for example, for product, I don't know about my model and the product, which, have, uh, which of them it has or no. So I omit to select this uh, one and go to in studio. I want to download Merok, one of the famous model, uh, and I can see here Merok. So I click it. If you want to use, for example, NCC stories, you can click this one, or maybe no GFDL models, you can click. It depends on your project. If you want to use different model, you can click different products and as well different institute like this, and after that download them. For the model, I select Merok. So I can go to Merck series and select my intent model, for example, this one. I want to use Merck 5 for my sample, so I click it. If I want to use another model, such as Hedgem 2, I can select this one. So I want to just uh, one selection, Merck 5. So I want to go the other item, experiment. You can see different experiment. I told you that in SIMIP 5, we have two different models, such as a near term and long term. For dedical term and also for long term, I mean that under RCT, RCT scenarios. So, if you can see here, and I show, I learned to you that we have two periods of time, one of them for historical, uh, for make a, an evaluation process with, uh, I mean that observation period, so for downscaling a step, you should select this one, historical one. And also for RCP, I want to make a mean, I mean that an average view for future. So I prefer to select RCP uh, for five. And you know, as you can see here, we have four of uh, these RCPs here, and it depends on your objective. So. I make a medium, I mean that an average view, so I select this one. And by the way, historical and RCP was selected, so uh, close it. And for experiment family, you know, since we select historical and as well RCP, I select both of them. If you want to use, for example, other things such as dedical or control uh, feedbacks or maybe hello climate or uh, idealized uh, features, it depends on your uh, model also. So in this sample, I'll select both of them, historical and RCP. For times frequency, you know, for example, for this model uh, and my sample, I want to use monthly data, so I click it. If I want to use hourly, three hour or six hour or maybe day or year, it depends on your selection. 
thoroughly you know it has different uh, options here in this pdf file there is a comprehensive uh, i mean the descriptions for this uh, uh, item and you can find it is like this one uh, what is this and land eyes sea eyes and the other things there is a complete html uh, i mean that uh, link that can help you to better understanding in a pdf file a standard output of semi file that i told you before so in this regard because i don't know you know i don't know that uh, which of them related to mirror five so i uh, prefer to don't click anything of them so also in semi table we have different in for example ocean monthly or maybe atmosphere and the others i don't select anything for example you know we have different and different companies when they want to improve their model they try to different run assemble them use compound different of uh, uh, i mean that versions of that model so they call them in each run with this format there is a comprehensive description in the pdf output file that i told you before in this pdf file and you can find a complete um i mean that like this one a complete comprehensive uh, description about this item so you can read study that and understand better but in an overall in an overall view you know these are related to different run that assembling them the companies try to assemble the outputs or make improve them and the other things so the last and important one about the in your intent variable you know for example i want to find precipitation before that i uh, find it in output syntax file and if i want to know it better i can for example find it as p pr like this you can find different pr in this but however if you want to find it here uh, you can see that highlighted different pr here but the first one is my intent one if i want to use for example uh, temperature i can uh, write here and find it as different uh, temperature average sur um, temperature surface i mean there and you can see maximum minimum and the rest okay i just ju uh, once uh, i want to select uh, just precipitation i click it and the other is not important for me so after my selection just click search it depends on your uh, criteria that you select for your model and our uh, samples so it depends on your selection after that after a while you can see that uh, uh, this uh, result total number of results 20 in different pages but 25 and 20 different options find in this uh, search and for example it's better to find for example one of them and uh, like this one for example okay list files after click list files you can see different files that uh, put uh, different uh, i mean that in this series you can see more five in historical period with this uh, uh, ensemble one and uh, with this period because this is for historical period 1850 up to 2012 okay so if you want to download this one for historical period uh, you should you have a two way one of them just click on it and after a while your system start to download it like this you can see here it's around 245 uh, uh, megabyte in size but i don't want to download it i don't prefer it so i cancel it another way you can right click on your uh, http download and copy link address after that uh, copy this one to a for example tool such as download in, um, in, uh, download manager internet download manager for a speed up your download process okay so uh, as you can see here the file format is nc the extension is nc net cdf file so you can easily find open it and view it the content of the file or the other things so in this end if you if you want to just view your data you can this file you can use panoply tool if you're not if you want to for example 
uh, extract your intel data and in your stat case study or maybe origin and, and the other process on your file, you need to another you know, software tool, such as, for example, NCL or maybe uh, ArcGIS and the other things. But Agribisoft has produced a very fantastic tool for you to, uh, if you want to open your files, merge them, see your data, extract a region or point and the others with name of OpenNC file. It is really uh, usable for you that uh, extract your data after you download or similar file data. By the way, uh, and this time our uh, we find our uh, answer of the question that how we can download similar file data models. And uh, I hope this video helpful for you. If you want to subscribe to our channel, go to our uh, YouTube channel and download and uh, follow us uh, with different videos. In near future, I develop different videos about the difference between SIMIF6, SIMIF5, uh, the concept of statistical and as well dynamical downscaling, what are the RCM models and the other things. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.